Greetings, Pod fans. It's day 22 of Pod Vahida. Pod videos himself every day in April. And today, for the first time in about a year, I purposefully ran for an extended period of time. This is gonna be an interesting one, I can already tell. But yeah, as I said in yesterday's video, I wanted to go to the gym today, but I've had trouble getting out of bed and getting myself going. So that didn't happen. Whose idea was it to let the people who work at the gym go home at like 7 p.m. on a Saturday? That's dumb. What, do they have lives? Ugh. But when I finally got out of bed and decided to experience the world, I was like, you know what, I haven't gone running in a while and my extremely flamboyant running shoes they look like this. Haven't gotten any loving in nearly a year. I ran, I ran through a park. Uh, the park has been in the videos a number of times in the past. And I ran about four miles. The first two were seven minute miles, which I was ridiculously happy about. I thought I was going to fail a lot. And for those two miles, I didn't stop running unless I had to cross a road or something, which I was very proud of. And the strange thing is I did all of this with a pounding headache, which you'd think the whole like, Dum, dum, of dum, the feet on dum. the foot path would just ruin everything. Um, it was pretty painful. I like I've asked this before and I've gotten an answer, but why is it that I can wake up for work at like 7 a.m. and go and be fine for the entire day? I'll be tired, but I'll be fine. And then the weekend comes and I stay in bed until like, you know, one or twelve or something that's uh, unacceptable. And I've just got a headache for the entire day. What is that? The time that I asked and got the answer, I was told that it's because your brain is so used to being stressed that when it's not stressed and doesn't have to do anything, that's when it goes like, I don't know how to process this information. Also, I forgot to drink water or bring any water with me, so that might have added to the effect. But yes, it was enjoyable. Uh, as a person who spent the past year saying cardio is hardio and uh, being told uh, by Dave that cardio is Spanish for kills gains, it was nice to get out and run again. Spotify have a really cool feature that I only found out about today because I'm a big loser and I like looking up playlists for the things that I'm doing. So I opened my phone and just went running. And it came up with your running mix. You'll see there, if I can focus, that'd be a great idea. But you've got continue running here. So when you start that, it tells you, Start running there, lad. Except in a more like robotic woman-y voice. And after a couple of seconds of you running, it decides what pace you're going and picks songs to go with that. Which was really cool, except I live on top of a hill, so I was running downhill for the start. So then everything was super upbeat and difficult to go along to. But for that first song, at, at the very least, I think it worked for a while while I had energy. The beat of the song was going with the beat of my feet. The beat of my feet. What's wrong with me? But yeah, it was really cool. Did not know that that feature existed and I like it. Uh, it, it was cool. So I ran four miles. Don't know if I'm gonna run anymore in the future or if I'm going to keep this up. I would like to, but also I'm a guy who likes going into a gym and lifting things for a while. That helps me with life a bit better. That's all about my running adventure is it Hopefully will help the brain space, but we will see. Other than that, things that happened today, uh, I started watching 13 Reasons Why, which if, you, if you've been watching that, it's weird, man. I'm two episodes in and I don't know what I want to, if I want to continue watching this. I like, because a lot of questions are being asked and I've got a lot of questions in every single, every single thing that happens. I'm like, I have a question about this. And this happened before with a book series called Series of Unfortunate Events, where there were just so many questions and so many things that I wanted to know. And then they answered none of them. What is VFD? What? How? So yes, I'm probably going to continue watching it for a while. Hopefully I do finish it because it seems like everyone is loving it on the internet. But we're going to have to just see if I do put my time and effort into this. But yes, that's all for now. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Sloan.